Hi everyone, Neil Malik from Knack Training bringing you Everyday Office video number eight today. This is talking about using the Format Painter and also copy formatting, which sounds like the same thing, but it's not exactly the same thing. So let's get started with what is the Format Painter and why do I care? So let's say, for example, that you were going to do a little uh, quote here or um, you know a table or something like that. So this is some content that needs different formatting. <clears throat> now, when you highlight this content, you might decide to bold it, italicize it, maybe change the uh, paragraph spacing, maybe indent it by half an inch on the left and half an inch on the right. You know, whatever you feel like doing here, click OK. And maybe I'll change the color of that to more of a dark gray color. And maybe I'll increase the font size a little bit so that's easy to see. So this is a little bit of content that stands out from the rest of the document. Now, if I come over here and add some more content over here, I could see where I'd want to take the formatting from this element on the left and apply it to this element on the right. So to do this, I highlight the element on the left that I like. Now it's important to note that I did add some paragraph spacing to this with the indentation on the left and the right. And so if I don't highlight the entirety of the paragraph, it won't copy over the paragraph formatting. So I need to be careful about making sure that I get the whole thing selected. You can see that little tail on the end of the selection there it lets you know that you've sort of gone the full gamut across this paragraph. And then I use on the Home tab the Format Painter. Click on the Format Painter and just drag select the paragraph on the right. And again, you see here that it is indented, it's increased the font size, it's changed the color, etc. And that's good, definitely. Um, but as you can see there, it only did it one time. So if you want to apply the same for formatting multiple times, what you can do is you can highlight this content and double click the Format Painter. By double clicking the Format Painter, you're now applying this to multiple elements. So I can come in here and drag select this paragraph. As you can see, it applies to that paragraph there. And then maybe drag select this paragraph to apply it twice. At this point, if you're done with your drag selecting, you have to hit the Escape key in order to stop the Format Painter from working for you. But notice what you have to do there. In order to do some more editing, in order to make other kinds of changes in your documents, you have to stop format painting and then go over here and maybe add some more content. So what can we do instead of using the Format Painter or double-clicking the Format Painter? Well, if you hover on top of the Format Painter, you notice that it actually tells you that you can use the keyboard shortcut Control-Shift-C to copy the formatting and Control-Shift-V to paste the formatting. And the interesting thing about this is just like whenever you copy some content, if you copy content, then you can paste it pretty much anytime you want as long as you don't copy some other content. And so in the same way here, let's say that I highlight this paragraph I like the formatting of and I use the keyboard shortcut Control shift c I have now copied this formatting. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do some editing. Maybe I even put in a little mark here. Oh, maybe we want to take this out. Maybe we want to highlight it in red. Maybe we want to add a comment here. So I'll go over here and add a new comment. And then I realize, oh, you know what? I have a paragraph that I need to format. Well, what you do is you highlight the paragraph that you want to format and use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift V. Do you see that right there? Again, watch this. This is some more editing and it doesn't matter because I've copied the formatting and it's just sitting in the background. So now I come over here and maybe I set off this sentence right here. And I say, oh yes, this sentence right here, this is what needs the different formatting. And I use the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift V. 
and there it is. So just as a basic guideline here, the first thing you should try out is definitely the Format Painter. You know, by highlighting some content and using the Home tab, you can single click the Format Painter to copy the formatting one time. You can double click the Format Painter to be able to copy the formatting multiple times, paste it onto other content multiple times, but unfortunately, if you want to save that formatting, if you want to remember that formatting on, later on down the line, just using the Format Painter is not going to work. You need to use Control-Shift-V to paste the formatting onto the content. <laughs>